Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. You're picking the fat and slow from the herd. Where's the fun in that? Depends on what you're after. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. 
I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Can I help you with something? I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a Quarian programmer. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. I'll tell the slave broker. Hopefully she'll understand. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You again. Did you talk to Synthetic Insights about purchasing my slave's contract? They've got a policy against taking slaves. They're also having financial problems. I knew this was a stupid risk. The economy is too unstable to be taking on risky projects. I'm sorry. Please, this is not your fault. It is my responsibility to care for you. I will think of something. You're gonna have to figure something else out. Yes, as I told the Quarian, it is my responsibility. Thank you for trying. No further luck getting synthetic insights to purchase my quarry, and I take it? Come on. You said that Ilium has a whole system for contracts. Where there's a system, there's wiggle room. Well, I don't want to keep her because I don't think I can maintain her health. Isn't there some kind of clause that lets you release someone for health reasons? Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. I can claim medical necessity. She will be free, and 80% of my contract price will be refunded. It was never meant to apply to Quarians, and they'll close that loophole after we use it, but it will work for us. Thank you. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to go free my slave. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. I can taste hate in the air, but there's no fighting. It's like... like they don't want to. Is that right? Because it seems stupid. Rules and words to hide how they hide. Fighting is simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athena, sorry, Matriarch, and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. But what happened when he found out? I was about a hundred. Shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link. Told me that they were gonna have it out. And made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though.
what's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Mendwar. Eden Prime. Pharos. It's been like that forever. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Dangerous? No, she won't even talk to me. I don't... You're Shepard? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zoo's Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack, and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Where did the survivors go after Zoo's Hope shut down? Most of us stayed together and went back to Earth. Run down, but familiar. We needed familiar faces. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Ilium? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. Tell me more about the contract you signed to have these scans done. Baria Frontiers offered to do medical scans for next to nothing. Said they'd just use anything interesting they found in us. But there's a line we missed about how if they find something, they can do follow-up procedures as they see fit, without our consent. They can't actually force these procedures upon you. This is Ilium. They have contracts for just about everything you can imagine. If we don't take the tests, they'll declare us in breach of contract. We can't afford the legal fees they could hit us with. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? We get these headaches, like we did when the Thorian was controlling us, and muscle twitches, nerve damage maybe. And sometimes we can feel each other. I can tell when someone nearby is in pain. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> Not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilion's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. 
So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us? Then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. I'll talk to you later. Do whatever you like. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I... I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? 
Yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I can find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship, or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> 
I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Who is she? A wealthy speculator with a nasty disposition. She's killed her business rivals, government officials. I heard she even took out her own sister. If anyone deserves killing, she does. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard.
I'll get there. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I can't breathe. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Gotta keep moving if you want to find this assassin. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving.
quickly my shields!
Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. I was just thinking the same thing myself, Garrus. Well, there's no lack of cover. I'm on it! Enemy, have a pleasant day. Enemy! Enemy! Let us
My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. It's under control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around. Very slow. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? He's Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. He owes you one. Anybody else would have killed him. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No, Talon was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. 
Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Talon, come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Asana.
my way. Go in a cover. I spotted. I don't care what you do. No one. Wait. Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you.
Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then. I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nisana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nisana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you... What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about. By going to a place no one's ever returned from? That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. 
Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. <laughs>